Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. I am Pete. And I'm Wild Bill, the Unknown Comic. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're here a special Halloween episode of Comic Book Geezers. Today is October 7th, and we're doing one about Frankenstein. Yes. Marvel Comics called it the Monster of Frankenstein. And also then change it later on to the Frankenstein Monster. Again, not their own character, but this was a time where they were doing a lot of their own interpretations of classic characters. They were launching a lot of horror books. Where, like we've seen in a previous episode, we talked about Tomb of Dracula. Um, this artist was an exceptional artist for horror. Mike Plude. Yeah. Uh, check out issue number one. These are all from Pete's collection, by the way. 1972. So I've, I've got the full run. They only ran 18 issues. So I have this issue as well, but Pete has them all. I have about six or seven of them. Yeah. So it, a good series. Really good series. If you're, if you're into the horror, classic horror, and love the Frankenstein monster, they did a really good job on them. So the first few issues, they tried to keep close to the to the original story, story line, line. The Mary Shelley version. Yep. Um, as you can see here. So here, number two, again, Mr. Plug did the first bunch of issues. Now, he's... We talked about The Bride, and yeah. you've heard of the movie The Bride of Frankenstein, yeah. which is the sequel to the first original Frankenstein movie. So here, issue number two, how appropriate, The Bride, yep. referring to The Bride of Frankenstein. Yes. Moving right along. Again, Mike Plug artwork, but he didn't do all 18 issues, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. The, uh, you know, Plug sets such, such a high standard for the artwork that as, as good as like the storylines and the action in the later issues were, the, the, the artwork just really was not up to the, the high level that Plug had in the like first Plug had, a, again, a distinctive style for horror. He, I think he yeah. excels in the horror genre for comic books. One of my favorite covers. He I also remember. launched uh, Man-Thing, yep. uh, Werewolf, Werewolf by, by Night. Night, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. That guy. <laughs> uh, here we go. Monster Walks Among Us, number five. I have this issue as well, but not as in good condition, unfortunately. But again, uh, if you like horror, this this is where it's at. Yeah. And you know, the Frankenstein monster also popped up in a lot of other Marvel comics along the way. Uh, he was also in a Marvel team up with Spider Man. Or was it with, yep. the, with the Marvel two and with, with the thing? I can't remember now. One of the two. Uh, he, he also popped up in the Avengers once. He also showed up in uh, Giant Size issue number two of Werewolf by Night. Yes. Where indeed. he fights Werewolf by Night. Yes, nope. indeed. Jack Russell was the. Character's name. I have this cover as well, but again, not as a so great, great yes, position. Now, now it's the title has changed. Yeah, it's the, the monster of it's the Frankenstein monster. They did that with very little fanfare. This one that Pete's about to show was the only one I had in my collection until, until I started buying again last year. Issue number seven. I just love this cover. I was holding the rock over his head with the gypsy saying, Smash them, destroy them all. Yes. But this is not Mike Plug. <laughs> no, this is not. So so by this time, so this is what issue seven. Yes. Plug is already, you know, Plug at this, at this time, he was also working on Man Thing. Right, he was doing Werewolf by Night, so he had his hands on a lot of things, and so he someone else stepped in. But yeah. we can see there's a difference in the artwork. But I love this cover as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is number got, eight. I need this one. Two classic universe. Dracula horror. versus okay. yeah, Frankenstein. Gotta Frankenstein. love it. And here we have number nine, the continuation of that story. And I have this issue as well. Yeah. This is a great copy. Good story too. This is awesome. Do a great matchup. So here we got number ten. So Death Strikes the Man Called Frankenstein. Nice cover. Yeah, that is that is a good cover. You know, in all these, you got uh, you got Frankie wearing that vest with the, the same vest that he wore in the Son of Frankenstein. Yes, film. that furry furry vest. He like was fighting like, a, like a shag rug. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting this big hunchback kind of guy. It's definitely awesome. Even the way they draw the letters, man. You know, yeah. I even love this little picture up on the side. That's was awesome. Yeah, that's, you know. Because, and actually, that little picture... Marvel was good at doing that in, in this early 70s and mid-70s. If you look close at it, that's probably very close to the the Karloff version of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Monster. Yeah. This was, uh, this I think, nice. back in the day, this is one of the first ones that I actually had. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Pretty cool, huh? Breaking out Definitely of the ice. Definitely nice. Again, breaking out of the ice, frozen in the ice. If you remember the old universe. You ever see movies. Yeah, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman? Wolf he's they, frozen, in ice. frozen in ice. The Wolfman finds him. So here, you know, here in the, in the later issues, uh, you know, for me, for my money, the, the artwork on the covers and inside, it's just not not up to snuff with the early issues. You know, the story. But we love Frankenstein, so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna get it anyway. You know. Yeah, you know, but it's just it's a big drop off from the Plug stuff. But you know, still cool to have a Frankenstein monster. I have this one as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a nice one. And also now you're gonna see him starting to fight all these weird creatures and stuff, which uh, you know they weren't doing a lot of early on. So here you got you know. These kind of giant boar alien creatures or whatever, you know. <laughs> so now number 16, so the final three. 
coming winding down. Winding down. And this was a bi-monthly book. It went 18 issues, which means it lasted three years. Uh, it came out every other month. And then number 17, I have this issue as yeah, well. This is a real infect. Kind of Hannigan. I don't know who Hannigan. That's who drew the cover here. Pretty cool cover, actually. Uh, he fights this robot creature. I always like this one. I like how the, the colors change on this as well with every issue. The, yes, the I, didn't, background. I didn't even notice that, yeah. And, and here's the last one, sadly. Children of the Damned. This one actually is a good homage. I don't know who drew this, but it, it kind of is very plugish. I wonder if they just kind of went for that style on the final issue. It's a shame that, you know, it's <clears> And Frankenstein out. being a popular character, I have one Frankenstein. I may have shown this in a previous episode. But this is from Classics Illustrated. Uh, this is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is basically parallels the original book. Uh, bought this back in the spring. Uh, this is uh, something to my collection, and uh, Classics Illustrated always did comics on famous novels or famous stories, but to see Frankenstein in a Classics Illustrated, this is from 1969, so when I saw it, being a Frankenstein fan, I had to jump on it and get it and add it to my collection. I'm it's happy to show it to you again. Just look at, look at, the, let's look at the difference between the two interpretations. Styles. Yeah, come on over I mean, here. yeah, I mean, you know, is that... One Bill Holden that's like, you know. This is 1969, and Pete's Holden one from 1972. Looks like my grandfather, you know, wearing his suit. You know, yeah, this guy like, looks like he's, you know, he doesn't really look like a monster. You know, it's like, you know, yeah. somebody lost out in the snow, you know. <laughs> Not very intimidating, but it's still kind of creepy, you know. And this is, um, there's no ads inside this book. And this took what, about what an hour. Was, what year was that again? 1969. Okay, but it took me about an hour to read this. It's about 45 pages. There's no ads in it. And it follows the book. And I do have the book as well. Yeah. Well, the, the original Shelley. book was only, what, 150 pages? I'm not pages? sure, but... Very small. You so. know, they it, it follows the story of Mary Shelley's... Like, the original Frankenstein with Boris Karloff does not follow Mary Shelley's book to a T. It, no, it goes really. off on a tangent. It's still a wonderful story, but it's not the original. This this is a parallel to the original uh, story that was written in 1816, by the way. So uh, to see a character last over 200 years uh, is amazing. This, when this, the original story of Frankenstein was written, it means guys like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams were still alive when that book was written. And within five years, it became a play. And it was a, derived into a movie from the play. Yep. And uh, that's the story of Frankenstein. So thanks for watching. I'm Wild Bill from Comic Book Geezers. That's our Frankenstein episode. And we wish you a happy Halloween and come back for our horror episode, which is coming up next. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.